Okay, so I had a couple people ask about this battery charger. Um, I was going to do a review on it, but then I got sidetracked. And so I've had it for a couple months now, and I, I've uh, actually uh, brought back two batteries, the bike battery and a tractor battery that were just dead. Um, this one's still... This one's been off the charge for a while now, but this is the one that's been sitting for 10 years, supposedly, 8 to 10. And as you can see... It brought the battery back. The light's on. Everything works. This is by Black & Decker, but Stanley makes the same thing. They're around $55 to $60, depending on where you get them. They have an engine start. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this. So it has engine start, uh, alternator check, uh, battery voltage check, and then the battery recondition. And then your charge button. The only downside to this that I found that I don't care much for is the light goes out pretty much right away. So you get it for like 10 seconds and then it goes out and you have to press something to get the light back on. So, um, but, so the clamps are, you know, pretty standard, pretty standard issue. It doesn't make any noise. It seems to work really well. It seems pretty rugged. I've, tr I've accidentally dropped it a couple of times. Um, the engine starts works pretty good. I've used it a couple of times. Uh, in fact, battery in my HHR just died. It left me stranded at lunch, so got a new battery. So why don't I recondition this battery and just not spend the hundred dollars for the new battery? Timing. Um, to recondition a battery takes anywhere from 24 hours or longer. This one took something like almost a week. The tractor battery took like three days. This would take at least 24 hours and I need the car for work tomorrow. But I'm going to take that battery out and I'll charge it. Um, you know, I'll recondition it and then I'll have a spare battery. So, which I can use for jumping or what have you. So, I mean, that'll come in handy. Um, assuming it can be re reconditioned. Now, not all of them can be. Anyway, I felt it was a good that was a good deal, and I'm glad I got it. So, uh, judge for yourself. But again, Stanley makes them. Black & Decker makes it. Um, well, um, there's one company that makes it, and they're, they're, they're under different labels. I'm sure it's labeled under something else as well. Um, but the Stanley one looks identical to this, except it's yellow and black instead of red, orange and black. So, you know. Anyway, so... That's the deal with that. Seems to work really well. The voltage check and the charger check works really well. Uh, the, the charger, uh, the alternator check just says good or bad. I mean, it doesn't really give you a whole lot more than that. So, yeah. Anyway, it's getting cold. I want to put the battery in, go in, and have some dinner. So, hopefully that's good enough. If you have any other questions, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, one thing I forgot. Um, when... When you're charging the battery, when it switches to FLO right there, it's actually in trickle charge mode. Uh, I think it's a 3 amp charge, something like that. Um, when, uh, uh, I'm not sure what FLO stands for. It doesn't say in the manual, but it does say that when it's in that mode, it's trickle charging. And so you turn on the light, it'll run up the amps. It should go to flow pretty much right away here. and see how quickly the light goes out. Anyway, it'll take a second, but it'll go to flow here uh, momentarily. The battery, uh, the new battery I put in should be fully charged by now. Um, but it's a, uh, it says it's a 0 to 15 amp battery charger and a 40 amp engine start. So not quite as good as those uh, 100 amp uh, engine starts, but for these little, uh, at least for my HHR, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, so, um, basically, uh, when you put it in engine start, it does a 90 second charge, uh, at 40 amps, and then it keeps it at 40 amps until you start the car. So, um, just thought I'd point that out. All right. I'm trying to keep these videos to five minutes, so bear with me. This one might be a little longer. Talk to you later.